Welcome to WISIS 2022 Forum here in Geneva, and I'm joined by Sami Al Shamari, uh, who is the Technology and Innovation Executive Director of the Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy of the World Cup, no less. Um, tell me about the challenges of delivering such an enormous uh, project uh, while still meeting the sort of sustainability, you know, objectives of the UN. Thank you, Sam, and uh, I think uh, thank you for all uh, the wishes um, um, uh, ranging uh, for this uh, really great forum that we wanted to share uh, our expertise and also learn from other expertise as well, and also be joining with uh, the forum, putting all these policies and to help uh, uh, everyone, every country to succeed in uh, delivering digital uh, transformation uh, objectives. So in uh, Qatar uh, 2022, FIFA World Cup, it was really a long journey. We're talking about more than 12 years um, uh, since Qatar won uh, the, 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 um, the organizing uh, uh, bid. So uh, we started a little bit earlier than that when, in 2008 when Qatar has launched its, uh, its uh, vision, 2030 vision. And um, uh, having the information technology and communications is part of uh, the uh, pillars that can help in delivering um, our, our vision 2030. And Qatar has put really very ambitious goals to deliver this. And um, uh, this helped us a lot in achieving uh, the uh, World Cup 2022. And uh, since that, uh, we started, our slogan was to expect amazing. And then we started working on delivering amazing since 2010 until this moment. So uh, when we started working on delivering uh, our part uh, in information technology and communications, uh, we have focused on three pillars. Like we wanted to be innovative, and at the same time we are fan-centric. We want to make sure that it will be seamless experience for our fans. And also at the same time, we want uh, to have a legacy. It's not something meant only for the World Cup, and that's it, it should be continued after that. So whatever investment we have bought, it's meant for 2022 and beyond. And this, as I mentioned, this will be part of delivering the 2030 uh, vision for the country. So uh, innovative it was um, it's in every single thing that we have done and we uh, will deliver uh, by the end of the year because we wanted to have this um, uh, very important aspect and what we do to, to make really the World Cup in Qatar is really amazing and different and the most successful World Cup ever. And the uh, centric uh, fan, it was very important because we wanted to have a seamless experience for them from the moment they think that they want to come to Qatar. So at their homes, at their countries, and uh, when they book tickets, when they book flights, when they book accommodation, and we want, they want to get um, their hire card or fan ID to, to come to Qatar to be easy for them and in a uh, seamless way. And uh, during their time in Qatar, we want to make sure that they have all what they need from technology and also applications, software solutions that help them to be um, easy to find their ways, how to reach uh, to their transportation, how to get their accommodation, do um, a lot uh, really um, uh, tourist trips around the country in an easy way. And at the same time, as I mentioned, the legacy is really important part uh, from what we do. So um, uh, we thought about everything uh, we, uh, we do is to be last and to be part of um, uh, the, the next uh, events. For example, Qatar is hosting Asian Games 2030. So whatever we do, it should be part or the base for um, whatever uh, the other teams who, who are working on, on 2030. Asian Games. So uh, it was really challenging um, to deliver all this in, um, in this way, uh, creativity, and also thinking about uh, sustainability as well, we, we are, um, uh, which is one of our uh, 2030 vision pillars as well. So um, I think uh, so but far- delivering it now yes, in 2022. Exactly, exactly eight yeah. years ahead of time. Yeah. And uh, we have done really good tests in 21 when we hosted the Arab uh, Cup. And it was really a good test for all this infrastructure that uh, uh, need to be um, operating uh, the, this uh, mega event. So we have eight stadiums, 32 training sites, 300 non-official sites that need to be up and running 24 by seven with the uh, media and, um, uh, and also the transmission for all the channels that they will uh, be transforming and transmitting uh, live uh, videos for all these games. 
Uh, good luck. Uh, Sami Al Shamari, thank you so much for coming in and telling us all about your vision. Thank you very much. And I welcome everybody to come to Qatar November and December to enjoy a very, very nice World Cup.